and Roth. This is Geezer's Game of the Century. Geezer is playing in the black corner as Pawn Crusher 9 in chess.com. He's put up against Sir Charles. Both participants are from the United States. Sir Charles moves out. Oh, there's a blocking move by Sir Charles. Pawn Crusher can't bring his knight out. It's the left knight. So he brings it out in an unusual position over to the left. Okay, now the bishop could take the knight and that would throw the pawns in a bad position. Okay, now there's two pawns guarding that pawn that's blocking away of Pawn Crusher. So he takes the first pawn and moves up the knight. So the white bishop doesn't take it. Okay. Bishop comes out and he blocks her. That way if uh, they take the knight that would free up the uh, rook for action. Okay, that, that doubles the uh, protection for the knight. Okay, that puts two men on that pawn. So that would eliminate the pawn and gain a pawn for pawn crusher. Okay, white castles. Okay, now that puts a threat on the system there. And uh, Pawn Crusher gains a pawn on that switch. So, Sir Charles moves his rook over. That, eliminate, that uh, enables him to move his dark bishop. Uh, otherwise, the queen could take the pawn. So this is a very interesting move that uh, Pawn Crusher does now. He can't just take the pawn, but needs a backup because the rook could take a piece and then uh, Pawn Crusher would be down a piece. But with the bishop backup, he can uh, take the pawn with the knight, and then that would threaten the queen. Okay, there's a threat on the bishop, but uh, Pawn Crusher ignores the threat on the bishop and puts a threat on the queen. So that's threatening to take the queen. If Sir Charles takes the bishop with the pawn, 
pawn crusher would take the queen, so he doesn't want to do that. He elects to move the queen out of danger. He could just move it over one, but he elects not to do that. And he brings the queen way out of the ball game. So this is a very interesting move here. Pawn crusher double checks the king. So he can't block with a knight, which he would like to do. He has to move the king because of the double check. And so he has to move over in the corner. Okay, now this is a fantastic move here. Pawn Crusher puts the queen in the corner with the king and a queen sacrifice. The king cannot take the queen because it would be in check from the bishop and the knight both. So to remove the queen, he has to use the rook. Okay, now all Pawn Crusher does is smother the king. And that was possibly the best game that the Pawn Crusher 9 has ever done on chess.com. Peace. Don't break the lock. Chuck bait with a smothered king.